character that I was starting. It'll be very short, inshallah. So, as mentioned to you before as well, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We will talk about his characters. So today's one, inshallah, is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. His mannerism or character towards his spouse. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was he was so loving, and you know this is not because uh, only one of his wife has mentioned this one. Every single of his wives have reported this. He was very compassionate, very uh, honest person. He was very loving, and he was very respectful. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And you know he would not use any titles, belittling words, you know, uh, or, or using anything. He would not say anything to make make the whole atmosphere very bad or ugly. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was very loving, very respectful towards his spouse. For example, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. She said sometimes he would, you know, uh, call me Aish, which is basically a shorter for Aisha, and that is to show the mutual love they had for one another. This is what the Prophet of Allah would do, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sometimes the Prophet of Allah would call her Ya Humaira. You know, it's because uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, when she used to get uh, upset or when she used to get, when she's very happy, she used to become very red because she was, you know, very fair in complexion. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is basically praising her uh, beauty here, saying that, oh the, oh, the, oh, the beautiful one. But this is how the Prophet of Allah would address Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. Sometimes the Prophet of Allah would call her, Ya bint al-Siddiq. Again, because uh, Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, you know, the, this, this status is basically just below the, pro, uh, the level of prophethood. After Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam come the level of Siddiq. So the Prophet of Allah is reminding Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, do you know who you are? You are the daughter of a Siddiq. And Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, someone asked her, you know, we know how he is outside the house, but tell us about inside the house, how he was. And she said that, Kana fi mihnat ahli. And please pay attention to this. This is the most misunderstood hadith in the 21st century. Okay, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, how was he inside the house? Aisha said, he was very busy always helping his family members. This hadith is, this hadith is misunderstood by both of the genders. The men think the Prophet of Allah should go home and should relax and do nothing. And the women think he should go and start cooking food. You know, this is the, this is the new 21st century sisters question and etc. People before, they never, never understood like this. They, everyone knew. What Aisha is trying to say, he is very easy. She's saying the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he used to come to the house, he was a human being. He's not coming into the house like a commander or a leader. You're a doctor, you're a barrister, you're a lawyer. All the profession that you have, put it outside. Don't enter with this profession in the house. I'm Dr. Sab is here now, bring the food here like that. You know, I'm the commander is here or uh, you know, I'm, the, I'm the community leader. None of that. You're a husband. You're a, you're a, you're a father to your children. That's how the Prophet of Allah was. This is what Aisha was trying to say here, that he was a human being. He would do everything what everybody else does. That's what the Prophet of Allah is doing, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was a husband, someone that we should love spending our time with. Not only that the Prophet of Allah would spend this kind of joyful, enjoyable time with him at home, even in expedition as well. We should travel with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When he's traveling with 20,000, 15,000 companions, he would find time to come and speak to us. He will return, he will come at the back and he will say that to, to the companions, you guys carry on. Once they came to a coastal area, it was very smooth, and he told everybody that you guys all carry on. When everybody moved away, because there's a haya there as well, you know, he, he doesn't want only sahaba to look at his wife as well. He said, you guys carry on. When the sahaba, they went away, the Prophet of Allah said, Aisha, let's have a race. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Aisha, they had a race. Okay? And Aisha said that those were my younger days, so I was very... You know, I was, I, was, I was very energetic and fast, so I won the race, alhamdulillah. But one thing I've noticed, though, he never would like to talk about this, the fact that I beat him. Throughout, you know, not, not, every time I said, remember, the Prophet of Allah stayed quiet. Never, ever mention about the race again. Later on, Aisha said, I put on a bit of weight. And then another time we happened to be an expedition, it was my turn as well. He said, Aisha, let's have another race. And this time we had a race, and he won. And then he started talking about it so much. Aisha said that. Every time Aisha remember, Hadihi bitilka. Now, our score is 1-1 one, one now. You remember, you beat me once. This is, you know, that's how the Prophet of Allah was. So he's a husband with his wife. He's not a commander. He's not a leader. He's not always, you know, giving uh, in a commandments and, and being in the, in the state of authority. No, he's a husband. That's what Aisha is saying, that he was a loving husband, alhamdulillah. And every wife of Rasulullah, sallam, they said the same thing about him. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ Uswatun Hasana. Verily, you have in the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam perfect example to follow. May Allah azza wa jal give us all the tawfiq, inshaAllah ta'ala.